Yeah. yeah. Once they lived an old, old man. And every day the old man would walk before the village and sit upon a stump at the edge to rest his old bones. His hair was the color of the clouds and his feet were white because he never wore shoes. And the women would come by in the morning going to their gardens. They would say, good morning, old father. He'd go, good morning. They'd say, hey, old father, uh, will it rain today? He said, oh yeah, rain today. And then the women would sing and dance songs of life and love and all of the things in life that makes love good. And then the men would come by with their nets going to the river to go fishing. They would say, good morning, old father. He'd go, good morning. they say, hey, old father, will we catch fish today? he said, oh yeah, four bellies tonight. <laughs> and then the men would sing and dance songs of life and love and all of the things in life that makes love good. And then one day a little boy came by. And the little boy said, hey, old father, I have something for you. My mother sent it here. Take it. And the old man opened it. And it was a yam. And he ate that yam. And he looked at the little boy and gave him a toothless grin. And then the little boy said, hey, old father, oh, father, will you tell me a story? He said, a story? I got a story for you. You're great to have to have an old man tell you a story. Sit at my feet. I'll tell you a story. When I was young, when I was proud, he always started his stories that way because he learned them that way. And he told that little boy stories about life and love and all of the things in life that makes love good. But he also told that little boy stories about self-respect and self-determination and respect for elders, respect for women, and respect for people that didn't look like him. All kinds of stories. And one day, the little boy said, hey, old father. Oh, father, were you ever a little boy? <laughs> he said, yes, I was a little boy. Years ago, I was a little boy like you. He said, but old father, you old. Look at you, you old, but me? I'm going to be young forever, never going to grow old. And he heard his mother call. But when he got to the edge of the woods, he turned back around. He said, hey, old father, if I come back tomorrow, you going to tell me a story? Good, but you know what? You still going to be old. <laughs> I'm going to be young forever. Day by day, that little boy came and sat at the old man's feet. He even told his friends, hey, why don't you come listen to the old man tell stories? He tell good stories, but his friends would say, we don't want to listen to old man tell no stories. His feet probably stink. Old people smell. <laughs> Their house hot. I don't like going to see no old people. But that little boy came. Sun upon sun went by. Moon upon moon went by. That little boy became a young man. He didn't have time to always listen to stories. But whenever he did find the time, he'd make sure to walk by and wave at the old man. The old man would wave back. And he remembered those stories. Sun upon sun went by. Moon upon moon went by. That young man became a man. And it was about that time that he noticed that the old man wasn't sitting on the stump anymore. And when he inquired, he learned the old man had made transition to live with the ancestors. And he was sad, but he remembered those stories. Sun upon sun went by. That man got married and had children. And it was about that time that he noticed that some of his friends that never heard the stories were perishing. Some were killed. Some were killers. Some were in jail. Some had lost their mind. Some was on stuff and didn't even know who they were. But he remembered those stories. Sun upon sun went by. He and his wife had children. Moon upon moon went by. His children had children. Sun upon sun went by. And before he knew it, he too became an old man. And when he became an old man, he walked before the village and sat upon a stump at the edge. And his grandchildren would come out. And his grandchildren would say, hey, Grandpa, will you tell me a story? And he'd say, a story? I got a story for you. You're great to what the hell your grandfather tell you a story. Sit at my feet. I'll tell you a story. When I was young, when I was proud. He always started his stories that way because he learned them that way. And then one day, his grandson said, Grandpa, were you ever a little boy? And he said, yes, I was a little boy. Years ago, I was a little boy like you. He said, but Grandpa, you old. You've always been old. But I'm going to be young forever. Never got to grow old. And he went to play with the other grandchildren. Well, the grandfather sat there and watched his grandchildren play. And he noticed that he had taught them those games. Then he listened to the music and watched them dancing. Well, he had taught them that too. And as he sat there and listened to the music, he started to snap his fingers and move from side to side because inside of that old man's body was a little boy. So you young people, as soon as you get a chance, you find old mother and old father, oldest man, oldest woman in your family. Humble yourself, sit at their feet, tell them to tell you stories about life, love, 
and all the things in life that makes love good. And you old mothers and fathers, you got aunts and nieces and, and uncles, and, you, 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 you got children that need to humble themselves. Tell them your story. Tell them stories that they'll never hear from nobody but you. Tell them about your grandmother. You remember grandma's house. Tell them about the front room. Remember the front room? The room with all the plastic on the furniture nobody sat in? Tell them about grandma's and grandpa's candy dish and that great piece of candy. You know the candy you had to get a knife and chip that puppy out. That was good candy right there. They don't sell that stuff no more. Tell them about what real bread baking smells like. You know, we need to tell our children these stories. Tell them about Uncle Walter. I had an Uncle Walter. He was a drunk, a bona fide drunk. But he was in World War II. Won't know people was giving him no plan. He had no VA to go to. His VA was a bottle. And he was a drunk, but he's a vet and needs to be honored for his service to this country. We all got Uncle Walters in our family, but our children think something's wrong. No, no, they don't know the story. So we need to share stories with them because one day they're going to be old, just like you. Hey y'all, African train of thought is that children are our future. That's a European train of thought. They know African thought. Africans believe the elders are the future. It is our job to teach our children. They don't need to just know Trayvon Martin. They need to know what Emmett Till was like. You know, this ain't nothing new. You know, it really isn't. You know, and, and they need to know their, their history. They need to know where we came from. We don't need to keep repeating this stuff. And to talk about this story very briefly, one minute brief. In this story, who sent that boy to that old man? The mother did. The mother sent her son to that old man. So what does that tell you? Direct their children. Sometimes you can't give them what they need. Mom knew she couldn't give that boy nothing about how to be a man, but she knew where to send him. And she didn't just send him there. He brought a yam. Oh my God. He brought something. And as soon as that old man saw that yam, he knew that there's something he got to do. And the mother didn't just send him there to say, hey, how you doing? That she wants him to give him something too. And he knew exactly what to give him. That's important, y'all. Because sometimes we think we the only thing they need. No, no. No, no. Grandpa is the key too. And believe it or not, when I do uh, stories in, in these nursing homes, 80, 90 year olds, I let them know real quick that they just got a grandson that came out of jail that needed to hear from Grandpa. Just the fact that Grandpa called him and told him to keep his head up. That could change a whole generation, yo. You know, so you never know what your words to the children will mean. But we gotta talk to them, we gotta teach them, we gotta guide them. And if you can't do it, find somebody who can, like that old woman. Because that old man knew what to do. And there's a lot of old folks that's just waiting around, y'all. Some grandfather just sitting there waiting, say, Grandpa, tell me a story. Lord have mercy, boy, what you wanna know? You know, same thing with Grandma. Because Grandma ain't gonna text you. She can't do no emojis. <laughs> she ain't gonna say you no smiley face because she don't, what's that there? You know, she can't even see the letters, y'all. She got to find the right glasses. She got the glaucoma. How she gonna text you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She got thrown all up like this and stuff. You know, you got to visit grandma. It ain't nothing wrong with visiting. And if you really want a gift, this is young people too. Oh, not so old, young. Uh, you really want a gift? You take them something. You take grandma or grandpa or something to see if they won't sit down. That's where you're going to get something. But if you show up and say, hey, love you. Love you too, baby. You know? So uh, there's a lot in that story, y'all. But the bottom line is that time will go on. And the young people, see grandma, I mean, they're old, aren't they? Always been old, like you said. Always had gray hair. I ain't never known grandpa not had gray hair. Always been old. But then the older one gets. We see ourselves in that story. I see myself in that story, y'all. Because I ain't never thought I'd get this here. <laughs> and this here, I got a little balding going on. I said, what's going on up there? He said, how oh, you balding a little bit? I said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling skin. <laughs> that ain't balding. But you know, hey, I'm, I'm proud to be getting this way. Because it's a blessing to be here. Hey, listen, y'all. Um, enjoy, enjoy the rest of the festivities. Please remember the stories. and Thank you.